What is up YouTube? Gamers Media here and uh, I've been wanting to record games from a Nintendo DS so what I did was I went and bought a Nintendo 3DS capture card and basically the way they do it is when you buy a capture card from them they have it pre-installed so they just go out buy brand new Nintendo 3DS's and then install the capture board and sell them to you. So right now they're going for about $400. It was $435 for this one. A regular one where basically you just send your own DS is like 200 uh, I think 220 something like that well I didn't have a good 3ds the one I had which I got from a friend was like really damaged and beat up so I did not want to send that off and have a complete remake over it when it's just it, nothing's gonna change except for the capture board so it's still not gonna be that good so I'd rather have a brand new one so well uh, yeah let's get on and as you can see I'm recording with my new uh, handy cam I'm recording with this thing. Let me move this without touching the tripod, which I just got today also. So, uh, did an unboxing of that. Damn it. And also, uh, I'll be rebuilding my computer in a sense because I'm getting a new case. So, I'll be doing that because the case I have right now is a piece of crap. Uh, I got a case that's either too small or it's just too cheap because uh, not everything's fitting inside of it. Let's see here. Uh, it does have my name on it. So I got my name my address. Don't want you guys like coming to my house and be like, I'm going to kill you, Alan. Because I'm sure some of you guys would like to do that. Uh, all right. The noise filter, this is basically the way you stream the audio to your PC because I'm pretty sure you don't want a capture card that only does the screen. That kind of be terrible. Uh, here is the 3DS. Obviously, it's a uh, brand new. Uh, I've been told by well, I've been told by his post that what he does is. He just goes out to like Walmart, Target, and buys up all the 3DSs. So, uh, where does this guy live at? I don't know where the hell this guy lives at, and yeah, where the hell this guy lives at. I'm betting, I'm betting you there, no one ever gets a 3DS there. They're like, oh yeah, when's the 3DS gonna be in stock? Well, this guy just, he just bought like 50 of them. Damn. So uh, oh, okay, here's the 3DS. At least it's wrapped in bubble wrap, so uh, falling wouldn't destroy it. But uh, I really can't find that piece of paper. Pretty sad. Open this up. Okay. So I got my 3DS right here. I have my AR card. AR card. What the hell is an AR card? AR card, these cards were required to play built-in game applications okay so something like that and get membership club so basically Mario heart charger system okay don't need to know any of that so I guess everything else is already included I mean I'll definitely need to have this under warranty man that warranty because I'm pretty sure it's already invalidated Here. I still want to salvage the box. All right, this is the capture uh, capture thingy, me Bob. It's to USB to uh, whatever this is. It's. This is basically what uh, most cell phones use. I don't know what they're called, so sorry. Should say here AW. I guess it's AWM. That's what this is, but uh, yeah. Either way, it's USB, so that's the main thing. 3DS. Okay. 
to show you guys. It's brand new. What he did was uh, obviously he took apart the entire system and attached, I guess, a few wires to the top and uh, to the bottom that allows him to stream or the ability to stream it to your computer, the screens. And then for the audio, I, I guess he just configured the audio system to do the same. But honestly, this is way beyond me. I have no idea how to do this. And I think that's pretty awesome. And Nintendo should be like being like, hey, we should probably hire this guy or give him enough money to where he'd be willing to give up a one of the, I guess his patent on it, or now I don't know why Nintendo just doesn't hire this guy. This is this is ingenious. It, I could see I could see a lot of people buying this if it was more affordable. If this was around like the hundred dollar range, it'd be pretty cool. But having to send it away for two hundred dollars and then getting your 3DS back is a lot of money. But for people who are wanting to do streaming stuff and who have a partnered YouTube account, it's definitely worth it. So, uh, yeah, it's the 3DS. Uh, what's in here? Uh, this is the uh, DS backplate because, if, as you can see right here, this is where the cord goes in. And if you've taken apart a 3DS, then you know that there's not enough room right here. There's, oh, I can't remember what it is, but this is just an extra backplate. This legitimately is just an extra backplate. It's about. Uh, I'd say a half an inch bigger than what usually what a DS would be. So, uh, you, I don't think this would fit in any of the cases. So that's, that's a little bit of a bummer, but other than that, it's cool. Let me have this all set up for you guys and, uh, show you how easy it is. And also I'll be doing a, a box opening of my new Astros 2013 edition because my Astros 2012 edition broke. And uh, if you guys are wanting to get warranties on stuff, the best way to get a warranty is through Square Trade because uh, I went through Square Trade, I paid them $30, and my Astros A40s broke. And I was like, oh, well, that kind of sucks. So I contacted them, they're like, okay, uh, we'll just send you a full refund. I'm like, all right, then that, that works for me. Because I hate when you send a, a defective product. And they're like, okay, or not defective, but a product that breaks, they send it to you back, and you know sooner or later, the product maybe in about like two to three months is going to break again. They'll be like, oh, well, it sucks to be you. That's usually how it goes, so. It's nice that they just give refunds, depending on what problem it is. Uh, set this up. And I will have to install Loopies, which is the person who made this, his software on my computer, because I don't already have it. All right, guys, after like five hours of trying to fix this, I had to go in the support form and be like, dude, why isn't my capture card working? And they're like, oh, OK, what's your OS? And they're asking me all these random questions. And Loopy was like, dude, you forgot like the main component. I was like, what? I have everything hooked up correctly. I even have the spare audio cable, which doesn't come in or not the spare audio cable, but the audio thing that you don't you shouldn't need to have it hooked up and it's like dude you need you need these and at first I didn't believe them but then I was like okay let's try it again so I had everything hooked up I turned on the screen and voila it, it just happened like that I was like holy crap are you serious and as you can see right here it it just works like a charm now so I guess, uh, you know how like the Wii U, or <laughs> not the Wii U, but the Nintendo Wii, it had like a motion sensor bar? Well, according to Loopy, the motion sensor is the two pineapples. So uh, yeah, after I got that done, everything started working nicely. As you can see here, it's a little fuzzy, so let me just move this over a little bit. There we go. Looks a little bit better now. You might not be able to tell on the camera. But uh, yeah. As you can see here, everything's working correctly. Uh, let me go to the main menu. And my Nintendo 3DS is about to die because I haven't charged it. And also, uh, the pineapples, they take out a lot, a lot of energy. So, as you can see here, everything's changing. But, uh, yeah, I'm satisfied. Everything looks good. I know it's going to look good in XSplit. I've watched a couple people stream uh, the Pokemon games. 
some Resident Evil revelations from the 3DS, and obviously the quality is not going to be like 1080p, but it's going to be around 720p quality, which is really nice. Especially all the Game Boy games, even if you play Super Smash Bros, uh, Smash Bros Melee I should say, the quality isn't that bad for being like a 10 year old game. The quality is actually fairly decent, and a majority of Mario games, just the color scheme of it, makes it look like, okay, this looks like it's in HD, even knowing it's in 480p. And, uh, what is it, Super Mario World for the NES? That game looks brand new. It kind of looks brand new. It doesn't look, like, really, really pixelated, like a majority of the games, like, from NES. It looks like, just the color scheme, it looks so cartoony that it looks like it could have been made in 2010, 2011. I don't know, that's just my opinion. I like it. Uh, if you guys want to get one of these, link will be down below. Uh, this guy is a genius. He made this capture, uh, capture software, and I'm going to tell you guys flat out, it's definitely worth the money. The reason why I can say that is because if you look at the capture cards right now, there's when I started recording, there was only about three capture cards. There was Black Intensity Pro, or Black Magic, I think. Black Magic, Hapog and Dazzle. Those are the main three. All the other ones were kind of like, okay, you pick one up, two weeks from now you're going to you're going to need a new capture card. And those capture cards were going for two, $250, $300. That's basically how much they costed. There's no way to get a cheaper one. If you're going to buy one used, it'd be like 190 Okay? There, those are three options you had, right? And those are from three major retail dealers. Okay. Right now, there's only two people making Nintendo DS capture cards. There's probably a quantity of about 20 a week, if that, if that, maybe even less. And the two people who are doing it are not retail stores. So it's much harder to get your hands on one of these. Each and every one of these is basically, let's just say there's probably... Uh, a thousand people who have a Nintendo 3DS capture board compared to, let's just say, a million people who have a Hapok? That sounds right, and having something that others don't is very, very, very good. If you have a uh, HD capture card while everyone else has 2D capture cards, or not 2D, but uh, standard quality capture cards, obviously you're going to get more viewers. So, ha being one of those 1,000 people who actually has a 3DS will get you a lot more viewers than this other guy who is taking like a little camcorder and being like, Hey, watch my YouTube video. So, if you guys are interested in getting one, I highly recommend it. I think it's amazing the guy's only selling them for about... Oh, okay, I captured. Uh, 3DS died. But I think it's amazing he's only asking $200 to upgrade yours or $435 to get a new one, which is what I did because... I'd never had a 3DS. Actually, that's that's a lie. I got one like two weeks ago. And, oh, here it is. The one I got is right here. And as you can see here, it has some wear. This has been used, and I just decided to buy a new one. But, uh, yeah, Loopy, thanks. And uh, thanks for the whole pineapple trick. It worked out like a charm.